that should be me. And if somebody could talk now. Hello. Yeah. No. Uh, and that's it. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome. Um, we have deviated from our usual path and we have been waiting to play Spelljammer for some time. And we wanted to get the Mithras adventure out the way so that we can switch to um, Spelljammer and then play this. It's a ready-made um, module and adventure. So if you are playing it or you're going to play it, then please turn off the stream now because we will be giving spoilers um, all the way through. Um, yeah, and it's a made-up um, module and I'm going to play exactly how it's written hopefully hopefully um yeah so welcome along we're going to start off by allowing the players an opportunity to say who they are and who they are playing tonight so basically um party all you need to do is say who you are um who your character is and then tell us a bit about your character um, Mr. Pickles will start, as he always does. Um, so if you're new to it, you've got a bit of a, an understanding of what is going to happen. It doesn't have to be long or short. And if the last person can pass it back to me, then that would be brilliant. So, yeah, I'll allow the players an opportunity to say who they are and who they are playing tonight. And we'll go straight over to Mr. Pickles. Off you go. I am the Mr. Pickles. I'm playing Jennifer Eben. I think that's how I'm going to pronounce it. She's a human druid uh, following the circle of wildfire. And I like that because I think she believes that life is connected with death and therefore what burns down is just returning to life in another way. Mm -hmm. So obviously she has an affection for fire. And I like to think she perpetually smells like campfire, which is a bit off-putting to most civilized folk. <laughs> Every druid has like their thing that makes people in cities a little uncomfortable, like moss growing on them or something. She smells like campfire, even when she hasn't had any fires near her for a while. Um, she's overall pretty carefree, except when it comes to brewing. Um, she, when brewing, she's a perfectionist. And this is because she was raised by dwarven brewers, according to my background. And nice. that is Jennifer Eben. I'd like to throw the microphone over to my long lost comrade, Chugga Wugga. Hi, I'm Chugga Wugga, and I am playing Pericleus Simasut, who is a um, fifth level arcane tris, trix, trickster um, rock gnome. Uh, he's, he's three foot tall and medium build. He's got light tan skin, bit of a ruddy complexion around his cheeks. His eyes are a cornflower blue, and he has a very large, bulbous nose. Um, his ears are long and tapered, and they, they stick out from the side of his um, head horizontally. Um, a short trimmed beard and a walrus moustache, both are white and immaculately maintained. His eyebrows, however, are sort of like wild and unkept, and he has an obscene amount of ear hair. He, he, he's wearing studded leather armor. He's got an emerald green tunic underneath and a, and a tight fitting leather skull cap, which um, covers his bald head. Um, a short sword is scabbarded on his back and um, he's got numerous bell, um, pouches on his belt. Um, some even contain um, handles of tools. You think that there may be a... Um, some tinkering tools there. And there's also a, a small hand crossbow that hangs from a, um, from a, a, a hook. Uh, when he first joined you and started to adventure, because you've been adventuring for a fair amount of time now, he described himself as a person who researches, locates and retrieves stolen artifacts, curiosities and antiquities. Um, and then he returns them to their rightful owner, a treasure hunter for those who wishing to use fewer words. Um, in the time that you've known him, you found him to be good natured uh, and also a skilled historian and linguist. Uh, he's very observant. He, he notices things that others don't. And he loves puzzles and um, riddles. Um, he does tend to oversimplify things. And this can definitely be seen in one of his passions, which is inventing. 
the gadgets he designs and fabricates offer no benefit whatsoever and in most cases just overcomplicate things um take for example the, these little weird glassed eye pieces that he sometimes wears he calls them similar such spectacular ocular enhancers mark ii uh, you try them on yourself they do nothing but turn everything yellow and that's my character Pericleus Simasut. And I am going to pass on to Matt D. Welcome, Matt. Hi. Uh, I'm Matt D, and I will be playing Ty, the wood elf monk. He's uh, very much in touch with nature, so, uh, and he's also very protective of nature, so I'm sure that he and Jennifer will get along greatly whenever she starts wielding her fire around. <laughs> um he he's very much searching to be in touch with the universe be in flow with the universe his movement is very dynamic he likes uh it's it's kind of chaotic also he'll he will at times be walking on his hands on his feet he will be doing flips he will be doing uh, tumble wheels whatever he needs to do to get around he he loves being in motion um sometimes a little too much he doesn't really think that much before he acts he just kind of does goes with the flow and his dream ever since he's been young has just been to be one of the heroes that helps people goes around and sometimes he gets a little bit too caught up in the idea of what it means to be a hero but uh we'll see more about that once we play yeah. and then i'll pass it on to medivac why, thank you, Matt. Hi, everybody. I'm Medivac, and I'm playing Solvar Truthseeker, second son of a clan chief who's been sent down from the mountains to learn a bit of stability, sensibleness, a bit of um, a, to be grown up, basically. Um, he's a bit clumsy, um, and he has been destroying a few things while practicing with his great axe. So, to keep out the way, his, his father said, Go down to the people in the plains and learn what it's like to be sensible. And so, so he has them. Um, yeah, uh, he's just shy of eight feet tall. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, so, seven foot ten. Um, uh, he's quite young. Um, he's only twenty-four. Um, he has green eyes, pale blue skin. Um, you'll notice. He doesn't really wear much apart from a loincloth. Um, <laughs> and, and, and he, like, a backpack on his, and a, a, a strap around his, his, his chest as well to hold the backpack in place and, uh, and keep his great axe in his hand. Um, the group know, or, or his friends know, that um, when in combat, never stand near him. Stand, stand behind the foe or well away because he has a habit of um, flailing wildly with his axe and can cause some injuries. Um, as I apologise for the past things that happened, but, you know, we, we, we can never go back, OK? Um, yeah, um, he's out to prove himself that he, he can be a, a good asset and, and a help to people. And family is first, and you are my family, as you have grown to know. Other than my blood family, of course, which is really more important than you guys, but you, you don't know that. Um, but no, you, you are my family, and, and you do come first no matter what. Even when I'm in that blood-filled rage when I'm hacking and slashing. And if I hit you, you know it's with love. And with that, I shall pass on to our mighty GM. Okay, I have a burning question. Um, I've got a burning question as well. What's the flashing light that? behind you? That is just my um, LCD lights. I, oh, right. okay. I can turn them. No, no, I just, I just hadn't seen it before. Oh, um, see. I, I want to know, can. Um... Yes, I can fit through his legs. Yeah. And how tall is Ty? Can Ty fit underneath oh, his legs um, as well? <laughs> Ty is a kind of a medium build, around five eight, I think. So, oh, you know. Is Ty I think, human? Is well, he human? He's a he's a wood elf. He's a wood elf. So I think but, while he's doing his, you know, his little uh, acrobatic moves and stuff, I'm sure he'll find a way to pass. 
through his legs and then get hit by an axe or something. So, uh, well, sadly, yeah. sadly, my legs were two feet long. <laughs> yeah. really long <laughs> yeah, then, then it won't work. Yeah, I, I, I just, I was just thinking in preparation. Okay, so as you all mentioned, oh, first things before we go any further, if you at home would like to support your own. Um, player or your character here then do remember that you can donate one british sterling pound or 100 bits and give an advantage role to any of the um, players and even me um, as well as the dm so basically in dnd when we roll we can either roll with advantage or normally or with disadvantage. So by donating that quid or the 100 bits, um, you can give it to somebody, a player, so they can use it at the most important time. And hopefully it will come out really well and positive. Okay. Can I ask a quick question before yeah, we start? Yeah, by all means. Are, are we doing the inspiration where we get one inspiration per week? Or are we doing it when somebody rolls a fail at a one the uh, inspiration my point. my feeling my feeling was to do it a bit like luck um so you just get one every week yeah um, that's good is that is everybody happy with that or no idea what inspiration is yeah i was about um, to say the same thing inspiration is like a look roll where yeah. you can use it to make it to, to re-roll a um a bad roll so for example if you wanted to stealth and then you roll a two, you can go, oh my God, I, I hit a stone. I'm going to stand back up here and use my inspiration and I'm going to re roll that. Um, uh, sorry, it's basically a re roll. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Because I mean, the, the, the other way you do it is you you can, every time you roll a one, which is a, a, a crit of a fail, um, then you get an inspiration. But you get an inspiration like, from yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, so you, what we yes. you you have that um one point every um session rather than so you all have an inspiration point it's now. um you have it for the whole of the session and then um once you've used it up you've used it up and that will be it and that's no longer there and yeah that might be it. let's change that advantage role therefore to an inspiration with the pounds or the um 100 bitties that sounds brilliant okay so you have actually just finished an adventure and you are congregating in a, a tavern and it was quite a profitable adventure and you do have some magical items that you can allot to um, different people it's completely up to you i've left two of them quite generic um their their um weapons and so these can be any weapon that you wish and so if you wanted it to be a knife it could be a knife if you wanted it to be a hammer it could be a, a hammer um you don't have to you can give it all to one person you can share it out you don't need to keep anything in addition to for captain kangaroo when he joins this is just your adventure that you've actually had. So these these are the items that you have, and then you can um, discuss it before we set off. So you have, from the adventure, you have a plus two weapon. Um, you have a plus one weapon. Those are two different weapons. You have a plus one ring of protection. That will add to your armor class. You have a cloak of displacement that will need to be activated either with a magic word or putting the hood up. And once it's activated, then it will mean that anybody tries to roll um, to hit you will be at disadvantage. So we'll roll two dice and two dice rolls and we take the, the least beneficial one if we're doing disadvantage. There is a wand of magical de or magic detection that has three charges in it. And there are three potions of healing. Okay, just the normal um, type. Okay, 
So you can um, decide now who wants what. And it, obviously the weapons, the plus two weapon and the plus one weapon. So that will be a plus to your dice roll, etc. cetera. Um, you need to specify what they are so you can allocate them now. There's no belt of knife sight. No. Can't get my, can't get my 50 pound back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, well, I was hoping the druid might take You've got something. to do a tier three sub to get that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, go for it. I would say that Jennifer doesn't really use weapons. She primarily uses fire. So the, the plus two and the plus one should go to people who are actually using weapons primarily. Yeah, Ty doesn't use any weapons either. He uh, He's a fist guy, so... I mean, I can uh, take the plus two weapon if it's a, a, a great axe one to... Um, it could be whatever it be anything you want. You yeah. want. Can... Um, just, to, just so you know, the, the Wand of Magic Detection has three charges, and it will recharge daily. And at that point, you roll a 1d3, and that's how many charges it has for the rest of that day. Um, so it won't... Um, dissolve or anything like that it's something that will recharge every day who's our primary healer here everybody oh, looks at the druid slow, hand. <laughs> slow I hand have the ability to well i i think you should have the hood of displacement then okay i, I was gonna say either the ring of protection or cloak of displacement um and whichever one i don't get should go to um our monk. Ty. Yes, Ty. Yeah. Yeah. Protection would be, yeah, awesome for you. Um, so I'll take the cloak of displacement if that's what we think is best as the group. All uh, right, I'll take a ring of protection then. I mean, I feel like it should be the other way around because you're going to be up front getting slapped. That'll, that'll be more useful to you. I'm going to be dancing around in the background throwing fireballs. True. Well, what's the, have, what's the difference again? Does the cloak again? have charges on it? Can you only use it a certain amount of times a day? Um, the cloak of displacement? Yeah. Um, no. It's, okay. it's, got, it's unlimited until it is damaged or I read somewhere else otherwise. Chat is being really helpful at the moment. Um, oh, they said that my lights look cool. Thank you. <laughs> they can have an inspiration <laughs> die just for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, but it needs to be activated either with a magic word or putting the hood up, and that needs to be decided now, you know. So, so basically, for example, if you were gagged and you decided that it's activated by a verbal component, then it wouldn't work. You know, you would have to be but, debagged. But in the, in the mm. same breath, if you gag, you could be bound as well. So you won't look for the hood. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or they could put pull your hood down mid combat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pericles is very interested in the wand of magic uh, detection. I was going to suggest that. Yeah. That and and like a plus one weapon should probably go to you. Mm. Um, but I don't recall what you said how how you're oh you have the short sword so you're probably going yeah to be... so he's got he's, he's got like a baldric a leather baldric and there's a short sword on his back and then a, a dagger on the on the front and then he's got a crossbow a hand little hand crossbow as well i mean you may as well have the plus one for one of those is is an ape still a a thing on potions um no you know, that, when you used to, I'll, I'll drink an eighth of it. No, that's no, so, all or nothing. It's yeah. all or nothing. And potions of healing come in various different strengths. And these are three um, of the most common um, potions of healing. So they do 2d4 plus 2. With the cloak, if I say the word, does it just work forever or no you use the same word to turn it on and off because basically as i see it is that when you have it up you seem to almost like shift and so when people come to hit you they don't know whether or not they're hitting you or the blur if that makes sense and that's right i'm what... just i'm thinking like what if i take the cloak and i say the magic word now 
right? And then I just never say the word again to t turn it off. Yeah. So what will happen is that people will turn around to you and start coming up to you and say, why are you looking like that? Oh, and, okay. and possessed yeah, by demons. And, and also, just to let you know, Jennifer gets motion sickness. So <laughs> she'll just be, if, if, if you're sort of like moving backwards and forwards a lot, she might feel a bit dizzy. Okay, I see. I see. Well, if I'm taking the cloak, then yeah. Yeah. I, I would, I'll probably take the thing with the hood up. Sounds cooler. Okay. Yeah. So you, you can either have little gaps for your ears to go into, or you can, it could be cut so your ears still stick out, whatever you um, prefer. Um, you've got three potions of healing as well. So who's carrying those? Are you sharing uh, them out? Share them out. And I think that Matt, um, Jennifer, Perry, and uh, Ty, should have one each okay that that's absolutely fine um so just to recap um sol you've got the plus two great battle axe yeah is that right yeah i need to work out how to add it though yes uh, yeah and um you should be able to add it to your equipment uh, as a that's how I would do it, but I'll, we can check. You can just manually add two on it when we will. Um, who's um, Perry? You've got the plus one. Is that right? Um, yeah. If, well, if nobody else, nobody else uses weapons. When you need something more than just a wand, Ty's a monk, so he's just going to right. be using his fists and his feet and his knees That's right. and everything. <laughs> Nature what has does, given me everything I will ever need. What does what does Jenny use? Fire. Uh, yeah, I have a club, but that's right. more of just to point the fire. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's that's fine. Then I'll um I'll use the um the plus one weapon. So what is that? It'll, uh, be, a, it'll be a short sword. Short sword. Um. So Ty has the cloak of displacement with the hood up to activate. Jennifer, you have the Rest plus. Protection. Plus two ring of protection. Um, Perry has the wand. And then Jennifer, Perry, and Ty, you all have the, the potions. Yeah. Um, brilliant. So let's make a, a start because the adventure is going to start when you're in a, a coastal community. It's probably a, more of a town rather than a, a city. And you have been completed your adventure in a nearby series of disused mines that there was rumored to be a large beast roaming down there. And the town that you're actually in wanted to reopen the mines. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't a really big beast there at all it was just really populated with a whole load of goblins and hobgoblins but you quite nicely wiped them out including a tribal witch doctor that jennifer promptly set fire to and die he died an agonizing death to her hand Maybe he did mutter something about druids being wusses just beforehand Anyway, your adventure now has taken you to this coastal community. Local fishing boats share the harbour here with large trade vessels from far and wide. Lately, everyone has been discussing about the deluge of falling stars that have lit up the evening sky for the past several nights. Some say... These are celestial events, uh, are omens of impending danger. Others believe that they are precursor to the gods descending from the heavens to walk the land once more. Of course, no one knows for sure. You are just finishing your midday meal while listening to a blacksmith tell about being awakened last night by a loud crash. According to the smith, a crystalline vine 
a vine that should normally look like a plant but seemed to be made out of crystals burst out of the ground and punched a hole through the roof of his neighbour's bakery. That's to be divine punishment for all those bad pies and steep prices, says the blacksmith with a somewhat nervous chuckle. Suddenly, the earth shakes violently beneath your feet. You hear a dull roar of a distant eruption. The smith and several others, including yourself, hurry outside. And as you join them, you see a sinuous crystalline vine erupting from the ground a few blocks away, tall enough to be seen over the rooftops. Screams of panic rise from the same direction. A sailor standing in your midst says, I think it's time I return to my ship. She is a lady. You're welcome to join me. You would be wise to flee as well. And with that, she starts to make her way to the docks. The ground churns again and more eruptions burst through the streets all around you. From these sites, smaller crystalline vines that uproot themselves and begin lurching through the sea streets, driving panic citizens before them, while the enormous vine in the distance stretches even taller. Now, the good thing about things like this is that we get, because it's a, a, a module, we get to see some um, pictures. Um, so I will um, hopefully make this um, available to you all so you can um, see it. Oh, no, not him. Okay, so if you look in your um, journals now, which is, it looks like a little bit of a newspaper um, up mm. at the top, um, you should be able to see an image of the vines bursting out of the ground and the um, frightened people going all around. Hopefully you can see that now. And I'm going to move you onto the first map. And it'll take me a little while because I will need to downsize your characters once we get there. I will move you onto the map straight away as players. So hopefully you can see that now. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Yes. And, yep. and then I will put you on but warning some of you might appear very big oh no perfect none of you have um let me just move you down so you fit on the the actual map and if you could all check that you can move your tokens around yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. And if you would like to congregate um, at my ping, um, this here is the tavern. Okay. That's where you've um, been and you came out to see um, everything ahead of you. The You know just by the sea air that the, um, the docks are to the south. But I also mentioned that you could see some um, smaller things. You remember um, detaching, yeah, detaching themselves from the the actual big um, vines, and you can see that one. It's the big one. Um, you can see that some of these, you should be able to see them from both directions now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
um, seem to be lurching their way um, towards you. Um, they definitely seem to be keen to cause havoc and probably also um, some damage. So if you would like to click your characters, your tokens, and then um, click your initiatives, I'm going to remove your name tags from underneath them, um, but they should still appear on the on the um, sheet. Um, just to let you know, I will um, always do. Um, Matt, did you click tie before you? <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Okay, so which one would you like, the first one or the second one? It's up I'll, to you. Take the first, I'll take the second one. Yeah. Uh, so let me just re rearrange. Who's got the biggest um, init bonus between? Who goes first, Sol or Jenny? Mine's uh, two. What's what's yours? Uh, two. My dexterity is fourteen. Uh, my dex is fourteen. Oh, you go. Uh, it's, like, it's like top trumps. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I, I think the barbarian goes first and the druid watches a little bit. Okay, then. That seems no. to be a, a, a sensible um, thing to do. I, I let him go ahead of me because he always talks about how much he doesn't want to what, cleave people's what's, heads in. What's your intelligence? 11. No. <laughs> yeah. oh, hey, is, is the, did the lower numbers go first? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I was going first. Because we're stupid. <laughs> yeah, okay. So for for initiative. No, 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 no. No. Oh, I, I high highest uh, numbers. High numbers. Yeah. Went high numbers go yeah, first. Go first. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going first. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah they, because you were you were discussing who was gonna go first, so I was like, oh, uh, did sorry, the lower I numbers go first? But yeah. yeah. I, I, I thought you were taking a joke about my intelligence. <laughs> so <laughs> no, no. so first. generally <laughs> if the if the um, Actually, uh, so I probably shouldn't be next to you, right? So, <laughs> yeah. If the um, if the initiatives are the same, then we look at the initiative bonus. Then we look at the dexterity, and after that, we can just go with whatever we want. So, hopefully, oh, right. no matter what, Sol will go before um, Jennifer um, all all the time. So, please remember, in combat, you have a move action. You have a normal action and you have a bonus action. You should be aware of what you can do for your bonus actions. They will be specified um, in your character creation. Remember, you can split your movement up so you can go into combat, hit, do your bonus action and then go out of combat um, if you wish. Please remember that if you are moving out of combat using your movement, that the monster or the person or whatever will have what's known as an attack of opportunity to try to whack you before you um, back away. So it's you're not sort of like rushing in, hitting and rushing out with like the rabbit in Destin can do. It's very much, you know, they will have a chance. And I think yeah, the... Um, unless, unless you have with, withdraw and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but your speed should be, your movement should be on your character sheets um as well and so yeah ty you're you're up let's right. see what mr um, monk can do <laughs> well my, five, i mean five, five meters per square isn't it um it should be yeah and let me just um check that it's correct well somebody else can um yes it is it, uh, it, it feels kind of strange because our first enemy is nature, which is like the thing I love. So <laughs> is there any way I can check if these are definitely hostile? Um, can I... Well, you can see that they're definitely hostile um, because as you wait for a moment thinking, are these hostile? You notice that one reaches out and grabs uh, a passerby um uh, Ty, just roll a um just roll a d6 so in the um d6 so in the in the chat if you just do forward slash roll 
then do that. It five, yeah. It seems to be uh, an elderly woman who was trying desperately to get away, but she was somewhat slow, and she was sort of like um, over here where I'm pinging. And mm -hmm. in order, just as you think, Ooh, are these nice or nasty? This blight, as I will call it, grabs the woman and rather viciously and seems to, there's a slight rip and popping noise as you think the bright um, probably disconnects something. And then um, you notice that the woman goes quite cold looking as the vines sprout from its hand and its arm and wrapped round her. And she goes from a lovely pinky colour to somewhat blue and almost lacking in heat. And once the, the blight has done this, sucked all the heat out of the woman, it quite casually casts her to one side, turns towards um, you all and lets out a rather nasty and disturbing snarl. Yes, Ty, they are nasty all right not the good kind of nature uh, not um, the good kind all right then i'm I'm gonna run over to the the whatever this thing yep. is the vine i just did that yeah and i'm gonna attack it twice uh brilliant okay so my armor class is um 12 so so that thing that'll hit yeah so if it comes up green like that that means it was a crit so that was a natural 20 um, on that one. Uh, but that one doesn't um, hit because it's less okay. than 12. It needs to be 12 or above. So if you hit the unarmed strike below that um, 20, um, 10 plus critical. So that is 11 points of damage. Ouch. Okay, and then I'm going to use one of my key points which i get from yeah. being a, a cool monk person uh to do a flurry of blows which nice. if i'm not mistaken gives me two more attacks very nice i'm not checking anything by the way i'm just <laughs> um yeah flurry of blows that's definitely hits okay but that um, misses oh no so that's the seven damage yeah that's the nice. seven damage and then so I should get one more. And that hits as well. Okay. Yeah. And um, that takes this one um, out. Oh, okay. That's great. It, it is down and out. Um, Perry, you, uh, is that your bonus action to do your, to do your key point? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And have you used up all your movement? Um, I don't think I have. So, do you want to use any of your movement? Wait, how far was that? Um, I think it oh, was 35 feet. 35 feet, I can move 10 more feet. So, I'll just start, um, well, just start making my way back. Yeah, so again. just so you know, you can see down the street here and mm -hmm. down this street that there's more vines on their way. Uh, oh, okay. So, and then you can move back um, if you um, wish, um, or you can stay where you are and forfeit the rest of your movement. I'll I'll start moving a little bit back, and then I'll yell over to everyone else like, "Hey, there's more coming!" Brilliant. And um, Perry, you're next. Okay, so in between Perry and this one, is there any any citizen civilian who? Um, this vine might be getting towards no this one here has a direct line of sight to you guys um there were certain old people that sort of like ran from here down to the bottom there um but they, they this crystal vine seems to be almost like herding them yeah. and um just to let you know perry you can also see and sol and jennifer you will see this as well Behind that crystal vine to the east, there are more coming down. But the pathway down to the south um, seems to be relatively clear at the moment. That seems to be 
where, for want of a better, roll, roll your insight, Perry. It's not an action or anything. Oh, yeah. Um, you definitely get the feeling that they are being herded. Towards the, the docks. Yeah. Um, but there's nothing down dock-wise at the moment at all. Okay. Perry's going to um, draw his short sword and move to about there and um, take up a defensive stance. Okay. And any any other action, bonus actions, or the That's rest? It. That's it. Brilliant. Okay, then. Um, Sol, you are up. Oh, it's very easy. I'm going to charge. <laughs> so you, you'll see um, Sol uh, just stand there and shake and physically get really, really mad. And then he's going to run at this thing. Oh, it's about 25 it's, feet, yeah. Yeah, sorry, no, I need to take off that. There we go, to there. And what you want is one of these. So if I do that, and if I just do... Oh, can I do it from there? Let's do this. Um, I hope this works. Oh. That's your, your raging, I'm yeah? I'm raging, indeed. Excellent, yeah. So I think you have um, advantage on your... No, advantage on your strength rolls, mm -hmm. and you gain a bonus to damage. I do, indeed. I'm immune to um, various things. Yeah, you have a resistance to other damage. Yeah, so uh, yeah. resistance, sorry, rather than immunity, yeah. yeah. So, um, and then I'm going to take a swing with my great axe. Yeah, go for it. Um, there we go. Let's see if this works through this. Oh, the oh, tension. Oh, the tension. There we go. <laughs> what do we get? Yeah, um, 22. Now, do you wish to do your damage at the same time like that, or would you like to roll mm. your damage separately? No, I'm doing it through uh, beyond, so it'll do that anyway. So I'm, I'm uh, that. No, you, you, can, you can separate it out because... Mind are separated oh. um, out um, as well, but um, yeah. That, uh, so no yeah. So if you don't want it, do you have the little B down by the send button? Mm -hmm. If you click on that, yeah, and then go to options, there is a little slider on and off for auto roll damage and crit. More options. Well, here we go. <laughs> See it. Auto roll, there we go. Yeah, I'll turn that off in that case. Yeah, and then I just think sometimes it's nice to do that roll afterwards. Yeah. yeah. So, so like two, two goes. <laughs> yeah, so that um, first one, um, nine slashing damage. Yeah, yeah, nice. And then I'll hit again. Yeah. If it's still standing. It certainly is. Um, 28 will hit. Okay. And then oh, that, that didn't do advantage for some reason. Why did it do advantage? It didn't do a uh, advantage at my end. What did you roll? It's all right. I hit anyway, so. Yeah, um, that's another 10. Mm hmm Yep. Um. <laughs> this is when Medivac's frantically, it's still up Medivac. <laughs> Ty looks oh, over to you, that's all I said. that. <laughs> Uh, no, I got my big. <laughs> it do now. Um, for its legs. <laughs> legs. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop there. I, I'm gonna end my turn. I'm gonna while, while I'm raging. I'm raging. I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> nice. Okay, um, Jennifer, you are up. I would like to cast a spell now that I've waited and and seen that I'm needed in this situation. I would like to cast Create Bonfire underneath this uh, remaining target that I can see. This one here, yeah. At and I Souls. believe yeah. you're the one who rolls here. Um, you roll a Dexterity saving throw, and the DC is 14. Um, so that 
mind. Can you see that? Um, uh, the last thing I see is slashing damage from a great axe. Um, so just to let you know, people um, in the chat, I think my monsters are just rolling it, whispering it to me, which I wasn't aware of. Um, let me just um, change that while I'm doing. Um, I I rolled two for advantage or disadvantage, but when you, we don't need that, we always take the first one, which is two, which means I failed my um, saving. In that case, you take uh, 2d8 fire damage, and this is important because I have a feat that changes how fire works for me. Oh, uh, nice. I have elemental adept fire, and so if you have any spell resistance or resistance to fire, or not, not uh, spell resistance, if you have resistance to fire damage, I ignore it. And if I roll any one on a damage die with a fire spell, it's actually a two. Okay, then. Um, so just just go back. What was the first thing? Um, damage. I, I ignore resistance to fire damage. Okay, that's all right, because my resistance are too cold and radiant. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's fine. And um, what was the other thing that you said? Anytime I roll a one with a fire damage die, oh, it's yes. actually just a two. Yeah, nice. Okay, then. Um, off you so go. So, so I failed damage. my dex. Well, fire. Um, there's no one, so that's a seven. A seven, and that's really nice. So yeah, tell Burn. tell Sol what he sees. Um, a very, a slightly alarming, maybe hellish-looking thing that happens to some people who go against us. So the fire just starts emerging from their around their feet, or or uh, I guess in this case, wherever its body is on the ground, and it probably tries to writhe and get away. But the fire just keeps building until its fleshy vine crystal stuff. Is yeah, and burning. until it's. Um, starts to almost like get very hot and starts to glow, um, almost like spark out. And the old Jedi <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's sort of like crystallized. Uh, um, those crystals explode a bit. It's no damage coming towards um, anyone, but it's definitely writhing a lot in the fire. And yeah, it sort of like decrystallizes, if that makes sense. And you are left with a, a dead um, blight vine um, before you. Okay. Um, anything else, um, Jennifer? <laughs> my bonus actions are specifically for controlling my fire friend, and he's not here. So I, I probably want to um, move about. Like, okay. Well, I'd actually want to move about here. Okay. That's uh, fine. Yeah. Okay, then. So let me um, put. Um, some more blighties on. Worth noting about my bonfire, if you end your turn on it, you have to make another saving throw. And if you move into it, you have to make a saving throw as well. Nice. And how long does it last for? Um, concentration up to one minute. Okay, then. So I'm assuming that you're going to still be um, concentrating on it? Ideally to turn it to ashes. Yeah. Okay. So... I'm just moving um, some creatures on, and then I will uh, reveal them for you. Um, so on their turn, obviously the um, ones that are dead are dead, um, but these others come to the positions they are in now. Does that make sense? So they've used their... Um, They've used their um, movement on 12 um, to get into this position. Okay, so we're now coming back up to the top of the round. And yeah, um, Ty, you're up. All right. Well, since it seems to have worked so well on the last one, I'll try to uh, do a repeat of last time. So I'll run up to this guy and I'll... Uh, I'll kind of, you know, spot the way he moves, see where his like his his weight is centered. Nice. And try to hit him right there. Yeah, cool. Um so 19 will hit. Okay. 
And then because that hits, I'll I'll do it again. I'll do a backflip and I'll try to hit him there again. Ah, but that it seems that they're starting to figure out how you move. Um, because when you come back um to do the backflip with them, um it doesn't seem to um you miss. Um so it's almost as if it started to um understand how you're moving. Um Ooh. yeah. Do you have maybe any... I got a bit overconfident there? <laughs> yeah. Do you have, have any? The flip. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, any other actions? Um, I uh, think actually no. Nah, I'll I'll use another key point. Let's do it. And I'll do two more attacks. Okay. I'll do a a flurry of blows. So I'll uh I'll f I'll try to fake them out this time. Pretend I go for that spot and then go for a different spot. Let's see how good you are at faking. Oh, they've completely <laughs> me, I'm guessing. <laughs> um yep, that that misses. Yeah. All um, right. And any... I'll, I'll just I'll just go for a, a blind a blind hit. So maybe if I don't know where I'm hitting, then they won't be able to predict it. Sounds good. That does hit. Ah, there you go. Um, nine points of damage. Yeah. Okay then. All right, and because that was part of my uh, flurry of blows, yeah, I'll also use my open hand technique, which I'm not sure how I put it in here, but basically the way it works is that they, uh, they fall prone if they fail a deck saving throw. Nice. DC fourteen. Yeah. Uh, fourteen. Here we go. Um, I get, uh, you should be able to see that now. Can you see those wells? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 14. Um, so it gets a 10. There it is. Um, yeah. Uh, but so it is knocked prone. Uh, it must make a say, strength saving throw. If it fails, it can push it up to, right. So the, here's your, um, so I, that's my deck saving throw, which means I'm down, um, not prone. It must make a strength saving throw. If it fails, you can push it up to 15 feet away from you. Um, so this, um, what's the DC for the strength? Can I do both? I thought I had to choose, but I'll, I'll, I can do both. Uh, it's also 14. It's the uh -huh. same DC. Yeah, so let's move him um, to the edge of the map there. But I don't right. think he can... He can't take reactions to, until the end of your um, turn. So now you could literally move away um, if you wanted to. Um, yeah. Uh, are you done? Um, well, I'm, I'm guessing that they'll be able to reach me next turn, so I'll move back a little bit. Does that, does that open hand technique take an action? Um, nope, it's just every time I hit someone with Flurry of Blows. Right, that's right, because it. It, the only reason I'm asking is because underneath it in the chat it says action. That's why I was asking. Um, Can you see? That's why. It doesn't It doesn't matter um, at all. Um, Perry, we come... Oh, did you want to move, um, Ty? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how much further I can move. I think I well, you've got from here, so yeah. I went 20, 20 and then I'll yeah. go... 25, so I'll go there. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Nice. And um, Perry, you're up. Has Perry ever read or heard anything about these vines that are attacking? He, no. He's 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 pretty knowledgeable on history and yeah, you can, you can make a history roll. Um... Whether or not they've attacked in Faerun before or... No, um, as far as you quickly try to think um, in, in the combat, you can't think of anything that you've heard or seen uh, about anything like this. It seems to be quite unique. Um, but of course, you know, you are a well-travelled gnome, but not uh, an extremely well-travelled gnome. So, But to your knowledge, you've not seen anything like this before. Okay, he's going to move up slightly behind um, the what? Are, what are Sol. you again? Uh, 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 sorry, what race uh, are you? I am a Goliath. Yeah, so he'll he'll move up slightly behind Sol and um, 
look for an opportunity to to attack next round. Okay. And Sol, you're up. Um, so you have got two creatures. Um, these, although they look stationary at the moment, they are moving. Um, so you can meet their charge um, uh, where well, where they are at the moment. I'm going to look at this 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 thing in front of me and and go mm, and, and and run around it. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I'm going to position myself to there. Yeah. So I'm in between them both, uh, and, and I'm going to be looking left and right and left and right, and and and, and I'm going to hit the left one because it, it looks funny. The one to the north, as you. The one to the north. Yeah. Yes. Got yeah. You know, target it. Target it. How do I target it? This can't remember. Oh, get off cancel. Yeah, you don't need to. Um, no. The one. Okay. Yeah, I've got it. The one to the north. Yeah. So why is it not running advantage? I know I hit, but. What's what's it not doing, sorry? It's not really my advantage for rage, but um so click on, click on the B in the bottom. And then it's oh, uh, uh, right, go yes, to more of course. options and then yep. go to um always well with advantage. Yeah, so I actually have right. yeah. always ask. And yeah, then I, I then I then I know. Time, yeah. yeah. Um so that um um, hit you should um technically roll that again that to hit because oh, yeah. it because it, it could it get a, yeah. yeah um so just roll it again otherwise uh, we'll uh, take the 14 uh, yeah. I, I don't do chris <laughs> <laughs> um minus 14 yeah thank you um yeah and again my, my my next attack will be um i think you can do this time let's have a look 19, and then I'll roll it again in case it's a crit. No, that's fine. So we'll take the 28. Take the 28, and do some and damage. Damage is going to be 14. 14, um, which is very nice since you take this nasty beast out. Can I just say so? Without any help. <sighs> You, <laughs> you actually took this oh, one out. <laughs> the, the Druid Jennifer did not help you one little bit with that one, so well You're done. Doing great, <laughs> uh, bloody pants everywhere. Uh, uh, and then I'm going to scowl at the one next to me because I know I can't hit it because... I've been hitting this one. Oh, yeah, and it probably doesn't yeah. have the audacity to hit you uh, at all. Uh, we're coming across to you, Jennifer, who is still concentrating on the bonfire beneath the um, burning one. If I may, I'd like to give up my concentration there uh, yeah. as I've drained the life force of that creature, and I'd like to focus it on the only one I can see within range, uh, yeah. presumably. Um, so this is, again, for you to roll your saving throw. Against uh, my bonfire. Is that a dex? Um, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. uh, dexterity and a fourteen. I get. Point. I get a three. But just to let you know, I have negatives on my de dex rolls. <laughs> a plant here made of crystals, so I don't blame you. But, uh, yeah. Um. Here is the roll. Let's see if I got any ones. I did not get any ones. Oh right. So is that um twelve? Twelve fire damage. Burn. Yeah, um, so Sol, you see this bonfire erupt um, from its feet. You've probably seen Jennifer do this before, so, you know, you recognise that it's not part of the vines themselves um, doing it. But, yeah, um, Jennifer, anything else that you'd like to do? Um, no, but I'd like uh, for uh, Sol here to feel feel good. This is one of my staples. At least I'm not throwing fire over your shoulder anymore. <laughs> Uh, so that is probably a little bit of a welcome change on that. Uh, yeah, I have no other actions. No other actions. Brilliant. Okay, so let's start with you, Sol. Um, so I am going to try to attack you, my friend. Um, let me just make sure that this is what I want it to um, do. Yeah, okay then. So um, I get um, multi pull attacks um just so you um are aware um uh, 12 does a 12 hit muted sorry no just no, no. yeah 
and my second one is a seven. Um, so oh, they no, no, no. <laughs> um, they um, don't um, hit at all. Um, this one moves its movement tie to come up to you. And the one further back is getting up from prone. Um, so these are attacks on you, Ty. I think your arm class is 17. Is that right? Yep. Um, I get a 14 and I get a 10. And they um, blurt out. Um, they don't hit at all with it. They're, they sort of like are trying to wrap um, the vines round you uh, as they uh, I'm do gonna it. flip out of the way, try to touch. Yeah, and this one, thing. this one gets up and then uses its movement to get to that point um, there, and that's um, me out. So we're coming back up Hold to. Up. Yeah. This means you got to roll a saving throw though, uh, because you're still in my bonfire. Yeah. Um, uh, dexterity DC fourteen. Yeah, I'm yeah. wise to your <laughs> your bonfires now. <laughs> so, I'm trying my best. Uh, yeah, um, so yeah, it it's, seems to be plowing its um, vines down onto the bonfire, and actually, um, you might have noticed from what it's using, um, it has heat draining vines, and so this light is almost like getting wise to this fire and you you notice that it probably missed sol but has started to pull up the heat um from your bonfire and yeah that's the end of thank you for that and we're up can to, i just say uh, i don't get advantage on attacks which is good but i hit first time i've just read it, it really advantage on saving throws and, st and strength checks. Not yet. so your first attack yeah automatically no, hits it, it, but it hit, no it hit when i rolled it but I don't get it. oh yes yeah okay then got yeah, yeah yeah um and you're putting but did you say you get bonus for damage I get advantage on strength yeah i get a bonus for damage but i also get strength and advantage on strength checks and saving throws got yeah got yeah but not attacks sorry okay no worries which is a good job why i hit mm. on my first roll you didn't need it you didn't need it. Um, so we're back up to the top of the um, round and the little wood elf monk Ty um, seems to be have something in front of it and something coming towards you. Um, so, yeah, what would you like to do? Well, I've just masterfully dodged those two attacks. So I'm feeling very confident again and I'm getting ready to get written down in the history books as the, the great hero that I am. Yeah, so go for it. I'm going to go for another flip and try to hit him with both my legs this time okay. in the middle of the flip. Yes, that that's, that first attack um, hits for five One leg points. hits. <laughs> and what about the other leg? Um, the other leg doesn't hit. Um, Is it not? Oh, no, sorry, I, I saw seven. Sorry, that's yeah. why I thought, yeah, another seven points uh, of damage. Yeah, so I'm just going to yeah. snap my legs closed on his ne wherever his neck would be. Yeah. And just snap him there. Snap him there. Uh, anything yeah. else you would like to do? He is still up. Um, well, I'm, I'm feeling good right now, so I'm going to use another point of key, starting to get how, a how bit exhausted. <laughs> I was going to say, how often does your key come back? This is why. Uh, I, 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 I get uh, five points of key for every short rest. Right. Okay, then. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm going to use another, and I'm going to do... Uh, just one more attack, try to sweep his leg. Yeah, and do some damage. Okay. You you like these sevens, don't you? What are you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Big fan of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah. He's still standing. He certainly is. Okay, then I'm gonna, uh, you know, put some more force behind a second sweep of the leg. Yep. That yep. that hits. And that'll. And then I'll, of course, do my uh, way of the open hand technique again. Yeah, well, that that nine um, kills him um, in, okay. in, in any case. So he's out. Um, do you wish to use any more of your um, bonus actions or your movement? Um, well, I still have all my movement, so I guess I can move back, go stand next to our uh, caster, hope she doesn't burn me. Yeah. Um, um, I'll, oh, when I killed him, 
I yeah. still kind of want to do like the open hand technique. So I'll just throw his yeah or and whatever his corpse like... is back on top of the other one. So to and, and make stack them. yeah, make a nice yeah. little stack. Excellent. And we um, Perry, we're over to you. Perry is going to dash in, short sword held low, go underneath the um, underneath Sol's swings and stab at the the vine. Yeah, with his with his short sword. Don't go know for it to hit. Um, say again, sorry. I got an eighteen. Um, yeah, uh, eighteen hits. And okay, so 23 points of damage. Um, so that's due to your... Um, eight, eight piercing and then 15 for the sneak attack. Okay. And what triggers a sneak attack? Um, if I have an advantage on an attack roll or if there's somebody else within um, combat. Oh, got you. Um, so that's um, 23 points of damage, yeah? Yeah. Um, which, um, Sol, you, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and then once, once he's done his switch, stabbed it with his short sword, he's then going to sort of like quickly move so that he's sort of like almost behind Sol. Yeah. He's going to use his cunning action to disengage. Brilliant. Um, Do you need to roll for your cunning nope. action or not? No, it's just a bonus action. So Brilliant. But he would have done that anyway because he, he didn't know that he was going to kill it. So he would have just rushed in, stabbed it, and then quickly sort of like disengaged and, and got back. Yeah, and, uh... nice. Um, so, yeah, everything seems to be um, burning nicely, Sol, around you. Um, there's a nice bonfire. Um, the, dru behind me, and there's, there's one, one the, there. druid, the druid took out the first one for you, and Perry yeah. took out the second one for you. And I'm like, you stand here with my axe, and I'm like, swing it. And um, there are trees to cut. It, there, there's nothing there at all. Um, however, there is still one um, vine who's just used its movement um to move on um 12 and yeah and therefore um we're coming back up to the top of the round uh Wait with you time a... oh yeah sorry jennifer yeah i missed you out sorry it's okay yeah hang on yeah well, it's all right I, I i i would just stand there anyway and just like go oh go for it jenny I would like to cast a second level spell. Um, I'll point my fingers at this last remaining guy and use Scorching Ray. Nice. Um, does this work? Um, I don't know if that did. Um, so I shoot three rays with this, and I guess I, I roll each of them individually. So I think I need to roll nice. three times. And do I um, do I get any saving throws or anything like that? Um, it's a oh no. Armor of class. class yeah yeah so, so 22 hits then that would hit that that would hit so the first one's hit and that's 10 damage yeah um and none of those are ones here's the second one um that doesn't hit um because my arm class third. is 12. Pow. and that I'm one shooting all over uh, the place yeah. <laughs> um yeah um but since it had um 10 hit points left um that takes that um one out and that's the end of um the round because i am out and we're going to take our break um in a second um before we carry on but i just want to make you aware of the situation um sol and perry you can see from your from the east um there's more coming and when i say more they seem to be congregating from side streets etc and ty and jenny you from the other direction you can um see that um as well and just as we come to the end of the round and go for our break 
out of from inside the tavern where you were just sat moments ago, a huge vine erupts, um, going up, shaking the whole ground around you and piercing the roof of the tavern as it shoots up to the um, sky. And as it comes out, quite naturally, there's a slight bit of debris coming down. And we'll see what happens with that when we come back from our break. Um, So we will be back at quarter to the hour. Um, So go away, grab something to eat and drink. And yeah, be back at quarter to the hour and we'll see what happens on the street with the uh, astral blights. Right, we'll see you all soon. Let Boom. No, sorry, I'm on, on that one. Uh, that one. Okay, can somebody just talk? Yes. That's thing. Yeah. One, two. That's it. Be quiet. Um, we are, yeah. Okay, we are back. And if you remember, I hope you all had a, a good break. And if you remember, just before we left, uh, Tendril shot out of the tavern, um, throwing um, debris left, right, and center. And um, thank you, Maglor. Thank you. And That's here, isn't it? This is the tavern. This um, one. Yeah, it actually, sorry, it actually burst out of this place here. Um, the one above there, sorry. Um, so can you all please make dexterity saving throws? And the DC is 12. Now I do get advantage on this because I'm still raging. You are. I, get, I also get... Um, <laughs> Oh, I don't know what I get. 17 for me. 17 is fine. Um, Ty does. Um, Perry does. You are a brave band of adventurers. You'll take... Put my beers in there. Hmm. So you're taking half damage. Yep. Oh, I, I am curious. Is debris... Does the, is that missiles or is it bludgeoning is it... or it's bludgeoning damage? So deflect missiles wouldn't work on the debris. Um, so, I, so I take half and then half again. Yeah, and yeah. no for the missiles. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is the full damage um, that came out um, as a a secret message to me, but I can tell you it's twenty seven. Um, mm-hmm. so you'll take um 13 damage and well, I'll take six, six. Yeah. yeah, yeah, big hits. Am I able to use uncanny dodge to have the if if you it says, um, um, when an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack, you can use reactions to half the attack's damage against you. I don't think it's an attack. Uh, a person attacking you is that what right. it's saying yeah yeah um so yes yeah, so take? um the full amount was 27 so if you're taking half because you saved it would be 13 and if you're halving it again that would be um six for um sol um and because i think you got half and half is that correct that's right yeah and that's from what debris and stuff yeah um so um it's b- things like um parts of the ceiling um it hasn't just sort of like shot up through one little bit it's sort of like made a massive hole um in the w- in the ceiling there's tiles there's woods there um pieces of masonry just sort of like shattering down um a- around you and as it um, comes down, Ty does um, a nice load of um, flips and dodges um, to get out the way. Jennifer sees uh, a lump coming to her and she just quite, quite quietly tries to step back, um, but not quite far enough. And some damage was done to um, Ty. And Perry, you managed to um, almost like get semi-shielded by one of these 
Um, Are you Sol to block half of it? Yeah, and <laughs> but um, Sol, you're you're just built like. A, yeah, I'm like right. I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, well, one actually came down and sort of like hit your head and sort of like yeah, uh, cause, broke over cause, it. Because that, that, that's a place I can lose. I can I can. Um, I, I can lose because I don't, I don't need my head. Yeah, you know, and it's just sort of like um, that was it. And yeah. And Is there anybody else in the street still running from, you know, running not from further up the, in the town? Not from where you are now. So there's no one in this street. Um, they seem to be um, going down. They've well before gone down the corridor, or oh, sorry, the street near Jennifer there. Um, so luckily the, the normal population was uh, removed and yeah, and we're going to, so that sort of like clashes down all around you as it bashes in doing um, damage, uh, et cetera. And just as you see that, you also acknowledge that the frequency of this is get, of these vines is getting more. Um, they're becoming more and more um, frequent. And the ones that originally burst out are still going um, skywards. Um, so you're currently out of combat um, at the moment. I do need to warn you about something before. Okay, um, so just to let you know, um, you can see another two blights um, coming from either end, uh, if that makes sense. You can see that they're lumbering out of side streets. One of them seems to um, bash out of a, a shop front as if it's sort of like materialized inside the shop. Um, one sort of like... Um, breaks itself away from the, one of the crystalline vines and starts hunkering towards you. You can see that around the town, more and more th um, vines are erupting. Um, so you're currently um, out of combat. And yeah, what would you um, like to do? Well, I, I'm going to say, P P Perry, Let's go down to the docks. It seems that it's safe that way. There's nothing going that way. We should get down there and protect the citizens. Yeah, down to the docks. Pericles is going to sheave his sword and then he's going to start um he's going to start moving um to go down this street um okay. to the to the south. Yeah. Um what's is that going to be the the um, action of everyone um, if he sees anybody on the way he's going to tell them to head towards the docks or he's going to help them if he i mean he's only small so he's not going to be picking people up but he's he's going to help and the only time that he's going to stop is if he comes across somebody who's not going to be able to make it and then he'll he'll stop to um but by the misery <laughs> okay, so you um, start to make your way down to the docks. I'm just going to just... Walk. As I'm going, he's going to sheave his um, short sword and he's going to unsling the um, the hand crossbow that's dangling from a hook on his belt. Brilliant. Um, does anybody else wish to do um, something as you go down? Yeah, go for it. I would like to tell myself that it's going to be okay, but I'd like to tell myself that at um, a second level instead of first. Yeah, nice. Um, and just pull a big splinter out of my arm and just pretend it's going to be okay. Um, this is healing word, if that wasn't clear. Yeah. Oh, it does um, say that. So you get um, seven points um, back. I feel better. Good. And hopefully you should be able to see... Uh, the dock now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how fast everybody else is moving, but if if Pericles needs to, he'll use um, dash to keep up with everybody's normal movement. And if people are moving at dash, he'll double dash. Yeah, he'll use his um, cunning action to to double dash so that he can he can keep up with them because he's 
He doesn't, he doesn't move very fast. Okay, so um, as several things that you need to be uh, aware of uh, as you sort of like make your way down um, to the docks. Um, the first thing is there's the local militia are actually herding people that way as well. And there's several um, fights breaking out on the way down. And the militia seems to be, there seems to be some sort of a captain um, telling everybody to sort of like head for the docks, get down to the docks. The docks is our only um, hope. It doesn't look like there's a lot of um, people being attacked. It seems to be more that the militia are holding them off while Ty and Ty, you could hold them two off by yourself. Sol, you need a little bit more support um, in that situation. But but you are keeping them or the militia seem to be doing them in groups of four to six, um, keeping them all at bay and making sure that the the local um bunch of commoners um etc are being kept in the right places and safe um this is my own map it's not one that comes with the uh, module and there's just one little alteration that you need to be aware of um before we do the next bit i'm, I'm going to draw it on for you um so if i do that um can you see that mm -hmm. um yes. so, so this house as i ping it um sorry this house is not here and so that's all sort of like just like this normal pathway and the the terracotta color is part of this pier does that make sense yeah, uh, yep. so you can actually sort of like um come um, from here right the way across um, to here okay so i've got i'm going to um, bring your characters on your tokens on uh, you should be able to see them now and you're coming from this way i'm um, going south so if you can put um, the lead person there where i'm pinging whoever's that's it, and then everybody else would be behind them. So, Sol, if you're taking the lead, that that's it, Jennifer. Yeah, perfect. Oh, uh, I, need to, I need to scroll up a bit. Yeah, Pericles is probably right at the back because, as I say, he's he's having to run a bit faster than everybody else just to just to keep up. Yeah. So, um, when you get to the docks, um, it's completely and utter chaotic there's hundreds of people swarming the piers trying to push their way onto three vessels that haven't yet set sail two long ships and uh, a galleon and as you come round that corner you can see there's a group of thugs, I'll put them on in a minute, a group of thugs in black leather armor with, uh, with their clubs. Um, and they're using their clubs on the crowd of screaming commoners. They're keeping the people away from the ships as they um, load their cargo um, under uh, supervision of a, a rather sneering man with long red um, hair and as you come round um, that corner there um, a woman um, steps out from the crowd and wipes blood from her chin and she turns to you and says glad to see you again she says with a smile my i'm captain elania startel and one of those ships is mine Pity I can't reach it. Would you be good enough to help me? I promise I can return the favour. Which one, pretty lady, is yours? Yeah, she points to... I'm just going to put her on um, for you so you can see her in all her gl glory. Um, put this... Um, she should appear now. 
Oh, yes. Yeah, can you see it? And she's referring, um, she points to the um, the hefty galleon, um, which is actually um, moored there. Can you see that? Yeah. And just so you know, oops, let me just do that. Let me put on the um, other um, thugs, etc., for you. So when you see it, the, the thugs at your level or just behind the captain, um, they are, you'll see them all in a second, don't worry. Uh, let me reveal them all and then you can um, see them. See them now? Yeah. 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 Okay, so these three here um, that are behind the captain, they're the ones that are actually using their clubs and they're swinging um, without mercy to anybody who either stumbles forward, tries to get forward or, you know, just is pushed from behind, whichever they were, they're swinging their clubs without any sense of um, mercy or anything like that. It doesn't matter if they're um, old ladies, children, a man with a dog, no matter what it is, if they come out of the um, crowd, they're just swinging their clubs blindly at them. Um, behind, you can see that these um, thugs here um, are just standing guard. Um, and then the two that are on the actual pier, these two here, they are lifting things onto the boat. And this guy here is the, um, the long red haired um, um, gentleman, uh, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, and I, I think, Sol, you, um, you asked her which was her ship. Yeah. And she points to the galleon and says, that'd be her. That's, that's Moon Dancer. And uh, are, are these men working for you? Not on your Nelly, she says. They're, I think they're trying to take over my ship to get out of here. As soon as Pericles sees these goons swinging away at the at the the citizens of the town, he's taking a step to one side and he's sticking a crossbow bolt in his hand crossbow and he's going to let fly at as one lifts its club up. He's going to he's going to fire at him straight away. Yeah. Okay then. Um, fire away. Uh, I don't know how ranges work for it. It's got 30 and then 120 in. I think you um, you can do up to 30, and then uh, it's long range after 30 up to 120. Right. Uh, that's what I think. So if you roll to hit. Yeah. Um, um, so... Um, hit of um, 11. So, yeah, um, 11 hits. That is their armor class. So that's uh, okay. just a hit. And, yeah. Um, do so that be five points of damage because I don't get sneak? Oh, okay. Because you weren't stealthed, yeah. Well, or because there's not somebody else yeah, in not. combat yeah. with them. Yeah, so this sort of like um, sticks this um, guy. Uh, it's sort of like, is it, you say it's a crossbow bolt. Yeah, it's a hand crossbow. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like, like a little quarrel. It sort of like whacks him into his shoulder just as he was um, about to um, slam um, into um, somebody else. And he sort of like looks at it and just with a quick twist and yank. Um, he pulls it out, and the the thugs round here um, naturally uh, look round and see where um, the crossbow bolt came from, and they look like they're getting ready to um, attack. So yeah, straight into initiative. 
Did you? Yeah. <laughs> so many initiatives. Well, I know we're good at the first lot of initiatives. Oh, there we go. That's the third. That's the captain. Oh, that was rubbish. I'm all back of the bus. Uh, he selected. Okay. Um, so many sheets. Okay, then. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get this um, sorted. Um, Perry, is your, what's your? Uh, 17. Is, I would have thought it would be higher than Okay. Um, so that looks right to me. Yeah. Everyone mm. happy with that? Um, okay, then. So um, she sort of like the captain sees the crossbow bolt whiz past her. She sort of like slightly moves and the breeze of it sort of like flutters her hair. And she sees the um, thugs drawing the weapons and she draws her uh, a scimitar and at the same time um what appears to be a dagger and she does it like that and um steps up to this person here and and as this is happening she she looks back um over her shoulder and um, sort of like looks at you all and says, it seems that we're in for a fight, gentlemen and lady. And she um, attacks. Uh, hang on. I just need to make sure. Because all my things always come to whispers and I want to never come to whispers. And for these, I'm just going to auto roll um, the damage. So she's going to have a go at the thugs. Just so you all know, the thugs have an arm class of 11. Um, so she attacks first with her scimitar. Oops, wrong button, sorry. Um, she works first with her scimitar and 22 will hit and she does eight slashing damage for that. Second with her scimitar, she does another eight. And then she does um, one with her dagger. So eight, 16, um, 21 points of damage um, to this um, thug. And she is um, out. Um, she is done and dusted. Um, so, um, Jennifer... Is that the same one that Pericles hit? No. Um, right. This was the one that Perry hit. This one cool. here. Okay. And I think it was for... How much damage was it? Uh, five, I think. Five, yeah. Um, yeah, um, Jennifer, you're, you're up. I would like to cast a spell. Nice. Um, I would like to cast Flaming Sphere... And I would like it to be summoned about right here um, because I want to use my bonus action to have it ram um, the one that's southernmost. Okay. Um, it's up to you. You can have it there if you want. But remember, the edge of the map is the crowd. Um, oh, yeah. I guess I need it to be as close as I can while still having it ram yeah. up against one of them. So it might be sort of like, yeah, where Sol is. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, it might be better right there. Yeah, go for it. Tactical. Um, well, this is a situation where I don't think I get to roll anything. You get to roll. Oh, nice. Um, they take fire damage um, if they end their turn within five feet of the, the sphere or within a square. And if I ram them with it, then you make a saving throw or take damage. And that is a dexterity 14. Uh, right. So you're ramming me with it, aren't you? Is that what yes. you're doing? Yeah. Um, so can it do two targets? Do I need to roll it for both targets? No, you just need to roll them a save if they end their turn there. If they run away, then it won't. What was the ramming bit? 
um, as a bonus action, I can have it move and hit somebody, forcing them to do a saving throw. All oh, right. So are you using the bonus action now to ramp yeah. them? R roll, it, roll it through from here. Yeah. To here. Yeah. To between them. So you get them both. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, the goal. Is it forced them to move? Uh, and yeah. So you you ram into them to start off with on your bonus action. Um, so you cast it on your action. Yeah. It appears you then barge it into them on your bonus action. So what's my dexterity? Um, uh, dexterity fourteen. Hang on, this. I love flowing sphere. Never whisper rolls. Uh, dex, dex save that. Um, nine miss is and seven doesn't hit um either. So, um, I'll need to. I, I think I can only hit one of them. Okay um, then. Yeah. So because I think it says oh oh, oh oh that shoot I didn't mean to roll that but that's fine. Um. Uh. As a bonus action, you can move the sphere up to 30 feet. If you ram into a creature, that creature must make the saving throw, and the sphere stops moving this turn. Um, uh, so it would it would just slam up against them and then stop. Um, got ya. Uh, I can change that. Um, hang on. Two. Hang on. Any creature that ends its turn yet within five feet of the sphere, um, if you ram the sphere into the creature, the creature must make a saving throw against the sp sphere's damage and this sphere stops moving. So it actually... Oh, wait. So against the damage? Yeah. So I think what happens is that you actually move it, and so it does its 2d6 worth of damage um, because you've pushed it into him, but then your sphere stops. Um, can you see what I mean? So it's appeared... Um, but you've rammed it into someone. That that's what I'm reading off the um, spell description. It says as a bonus action, you can move the sphere up to thirty feet. If you ram the sphere into a creature, that creature must make a saving throw against the sphere's damage, and then the sphere stops moving. So it is. It's a bit of like a sleep spell, isn't it? Where once you've used up the points of the damage then it's yeah i i'm quite happy for it to do some um damage um there and then um it will then have stopped in, in that position yeah. yeah yeah that makes sense yeah it looks like my fire damage roll automatically makes sure that one is upgraded oh brilliant so is that um five points of damage yeah big old five damage ouch um but if you end your turn next to me there, yeah, both of you are going to have to roll. I know. That's that's super scary. Turning up the heat. Um, and I'm going to be really nice to you and let you actually damage um, two of them because I'm in a good mood at the moment. And that's the only reason. Um, okay. Um, so, yeah, unless they move out the way, they're going to be taken. So if you remember that, um, Jennifer, for me, because I'm likely to forget. And Ty, you are up. All right. Come on, so little gonna... wood elf lad. <laughs> I'm going to run up to this first enemy here, position myself between him and the crowd. Yeah. And I'm going to hit him twice. Yeah, go for it. Um, 17 hits. All right. Uh, yeah, five points. And your next one. That hits as well. And yeah, um, you... That's going to be it. I'm not going to... I'm going to... Yeah. Um, so you will actually um, kill him or knock him out. So do tell oh, me great. what actually happens as you do that. Um, I will just... You know, he's, he's obviously not a good guy. He's a uh, fighting citizen. So it's... <laughs> very hero-like of me to very. walk up to him and just like open my hands, punch him as hard as I can right in his throat. Seems fair. Yeah, and you, you hear somebody from the crowd um, sort of like says, they, they sort of like see you come up and think you're a young lad or something as you launch into combat and you do a couple of hits and you can hear a... Uh, uh, cheer comes up from in the crowd and is, is like go boy go 
Um, as you sort oh, that's, of, going to be great for my ego. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as as they see you um, taken out, you can also hear um, some of them trying to back up um, because there's this big flaming ball uh, of fire. Um, actually, as, as he hears them shout, he will also start like slightly flexing his muscles, just a little bit, just just to um, yeah. Just so they know, you know. Yeah, uh, I'm just getting uh, a, f a fireball um, for your, um, watch me call it, your flaming sphere. I'm sure that we have something that we could use. You'll also see six docks where dock workers come up with marshmallows on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it a sphere? It is yeah, flaming sphere. I'll theoretically need one for my wildfire spirit, but that can be a sphere too. I don't care. How big is it in diameter? Uh, it takes up one five by five, five square. Five, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, it's getting bigger, don't we? It's a grower. There you go. <laughs> there you are. So that's where it is, and that's where it hit that guy, yeah? Yeah. So it hit him, and then it it stopped um, there. And I think I think will we not need uh, like an elemental for that, or your other guy? Yeah, I think that's more of an elemental. They say it could be a humanoid or um, beast-like form, but made of fire. I figure humanoid makes the most sense. Yeah, let's um, see what I've got in preparation. But while I'm looking, um, Perry, you're up. Okay, so after firing the um, his hand crossbow, he's going to um, let it go onto the hook on his belt, and he wants to um, climb up this side of this building to try to get onto the roof next to the fire elemental. Is that? Do you think that's a humanoid one, Mister Pickles? Yeah, I like that. that yeah, works for me. Okay, we will. I'm going to. Cut and paste it onto the uh, main screen, so so we've got it. So if you ever need it, I can use it twice per day. So I think. Yeah, I think you use it as one of your shape changing, don't you? Yeah. So I think you can. I might be wrong, but just from memory, I think you can change shape three times. I thought I only had two shaping all oh, right so two and so I it i check. yeah so if it's two so i then you it would t it takes up one of those i think that's what i think it does but it might not yeah, be yeah that's what it does um, and i'm not known for shape shifting so yeah that's what i use it for yeah nice nice um i think is there a climbing um uh, it goes on um athletics yeah okay then roll your athletics Um, so I am, I'm assuming here that what we do, we set the climbing a DC and say how difficult it's going to be. And then you roll that. Is that, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, well, this, this is, um, it probably take you a little bit longer to get up. What's your, do you have a climbing rate? Um, I'm not sure. I think it might be half your normal movement. Okay, then. So you. But I want to use my bonus action to to dash. If you see what I mean. Okay. So yeah. So in a bit of extra. Yeah. And do you want to be on that side of the roof? Ridge? I basically, what? Well, I wanted to be on. I wanted to be on this side, but it. it I mean, ideally, there is where I want to be. Yeah, you can... on the top, so I can see over onto the pier. Yeah. Okay, then. So you clamber up there on your action. Sol, we're off to you. And um, just to let you remember that this is not actually a house. No. Um, Sol, yeah. Mm. Um, so Sol, again, he's seen these guys down there and he's not happy. This, this lady wants her ship back. So he's going to move down to here and then into here and away from this big ball of fire that's there. So he's, he's like, don't be too near that so he's going to keep these people be between and he's going to rage nice rage like he's not done before 
He never rages. We've never, never seen him rage at all in all the time. Oh, no, never. He's usually such a calm guy. Like right? Yeah. Um, he's he's going to hit the one to the east. Yeah. First. Um, got you. Just to let you know, to remind you that Ty took his one out. <laughs> and Pericles is already soft. I had some help yeah. from. Uh, yeah. Oh no, Martin, we're a family. Here we go. You know, please, uh, miss. So we're, we're, we're... <laughs> eleven. Are oh, we class eleven there? Yay. That does hit. Yeah, a most palpable hit. Damage coming your way. Nice. See what we get. Hopefully, um, that should have a plus two on. Yes, it, it does. It's you rolled uh, a one d. Oh, it says it rolled a one d twelve plus six. Yeah, so you got situation bonus, um, rage. Yeah, and plus two for the axe. Yeah, cool. Um, so eleven points of damage to the one to the east. Yeah. Mm. Um. And he's going to do the one to the north because that's what he's going to do anyway, just to get their attention. Yeah. Go for it. Oh, that's a hit. Uh, yep, that is certainly a hit. So this is the one that's just been whacked by Jennifer's flaming sphere. And that is a 12. Ooh. Ooh. I'm just going to have to move your flaming sphere. I'll move it back. Um, okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Anything else that you would like to do? Uh, I'm just going to roar at them. <laughs> yeah. I do that. Just to try and get their attention. <laughs> do, do you want to um, intimidate them? I think there is an intimidation skill in this. Yes, indeed there is. And I will do. Just for the fun of it. To see what, what the effect is. Ba, 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 ba. That, that is a good intimidation. <laughs> what does it say any hint on the um, thing, what it does? Well, intimidate. Um, let's have a look. Let's click on there. They attempt to influence someone's thoughts, overt threats, hostile action, physical action, you know, uh, 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 prism intimidation, examples of enchanted prime information, blah, 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 blah. No, I, mean, I am literally just trying to intimidate them to try and come and attack me. And oh, a bit like... A flaming spear. Yeah, a bit... To, to stay with where they are. Focus on me. Yeah. So a, a little bit like a uh, a taunt. A taunt. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Got you. Yeah. Uh, okay then. So and oh, thugs next. Yeah. Um, did you want any bonus actions or anything? Um, salt or you're done. I'm muting myself again. Sorry. I, I I'm saving mine. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Um, just um, salt. So the the person in front of you that is being burnt by this um flaming sphere is obviously not going to um, stay in it because he's kept being kept on fire. So unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he's actually going to just um, step out of it. Uh, he, can do, he can do that. I, I can't get an attack of opportunity from there. He's yeah. got to leave a five foot from me. He can, he can walk around as much as he wants. No, I can't do that. Right. And he can't get any further because of the, um, the crowd. crowd. Yeah. Um, but um, he can still hit you from there. Yeah. And can yeah. we somehow convince the crowd to push him back? Yeah, push him back. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's not in the crowd at the moment. This is yeah. his um, melee attack at at, at you, um, Sol. But you're you're a tough being, aren't you? You get around twenty to behave. Uh, I get two <laughs> attacks, just so you know. Uh, I think is your class twelve or fifteen? Yeah, it's got twelve. No, fifteen. Fifteen uh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. 15, yeah. Um, that one misses. That one oh, hits. Nice. Um, that, no. no, it's just rolling advantage and, and disadvantage. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm just taking the first one, the 19. Um, so that's nine points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, do you have. Um, so that's that, four. Um, yeah, that's what I was going to say. And 
Then the one next to you, um, to your east, that is still um, up. 21, a hit. Yeah. Um, just four. Yeah. Um, so, so three bludgeoning, okay. so oh, one. Yeah. Um, from that one. Um, this, um, these guys um, here, um, you notice this one um, seems to draw um, a crossbow and is preparing to fire it. Um, these two are drawing their clubs or their maces and actually um, stepping back um, to form almost like a like a, a guard, um, like a to prevent um, anybody getting forward. And the red-headed dude um, there um, draws his um, two-handed... Um, Um, it act he actually um, draws his two-handed sword. Um, he sort of like she from the back and he sort of like stops the ordering around and sort of like stands behind. He's ordering his um, thugs. He's saying things like, get them, get them. Don't let them get anywhere near me. And we, we come up um, to uh, uh, Elena who's um, actually sees you appear and um, Ty and sort of like looks down and she sort of like goes, well done, little elf. I'm impressed. And then she gestures to the people on the pier. And she so what, said, what day is it? What day of the week? <laughs> Why? I, I just want to say, oh, this is just another Wednesday for me. <laughs> you can just go with Wednesday. If it's <laughs> Wednesday, right, that's right. absolutely fine. Uh, I have another question, actually. How, how wide is the dock? Um, exactly. I, I was kind of hoping to run up to them and like use my uh, ability to push them to push them off the um, dock. Yeah. So each each square is five foot all mm -hmm. the time. So, and you should have a little ruler that you can measure. Um, yeah, it's because the 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 top thug is sort of like standing in the water. So that's. Oh I'm... yeah, there. Yeah, he's actually on the edge of the pier. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. So, but all right, uh, that's great. Um, so this, um, the one um, um, here is on the edge and these, this one and this, they could easily be knocked off the edge if you want to. And she sort of like um, um, gestures um, to them and she, she sort of like, um, she's, she sheaves her weapon and she starts a chant and they, they seem to be sh um, shouting, Go, little elf! Go, little elf! Go, little elf! And it's sort of like... We're going to have to work on the little elf. Uh, yeah, but yeah, it's, nice. it's it's sort of like um, the cheering is going on um, uh, around them. And that's her. Um, Jennifer, you're up. I believe that I need to use my main action to continue concentration. Okay. If I want to keep my flaming sphere, but I'd like to move up if I can to about there or yeah. well, I want to, I want to catch up with the group and then I want to use my bonus action then to give a command to the flaming sphere, um, to, um, it can move up to like six squares. So I'd like for it to ideally hit this guy from the back, like just crawl behind him and then smash into his back. Yeah. Um, it could probably go, um, up over his head. That would work too. So yeah, it, it, it's up to it how to get there. Yeah, and he's just sort of like he watches it go um, up, and he thinks it's disappearing, and then it it sort of like comes diagonally down uh, and whacks um, into him. Do I get a a saving throw? Yeah. Yep. This is on you. Dexterity fourteen. Dexterity fourteen. I get a sixteen, so I'll be taking <sighs> half, so please. Oh, that's right. You do take half damage. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. The flaming sphere I cast was of this level, so it's two d six. Ooh, four damage for you. Four damage. I just need to move your sp sphere. Oh, this is the one that Saul's been attacking, isn't it? That he he didn't manage to kill. 
a dark. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the flaming sphere does not um, kill him. He's still up. Um, Ty, you are up. Um, just to let you know, you've got the people on the um, pier. This person uh, has a loaded crossbow bolt. Um, this person here has moved out the way and seems to be eyeing up Sol in a combat way. And, yeah, um and they, uh, Elena says, oh, like, be my guest, little elf boy. First of all, the name is Ty. Okay, so let's change little elf to Ty, please. Thank you. Uh, oh, she, 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 she reaches out to her, her hand and ruffles your hair. <laughs> so go for it, guys. It's, it's, it's Ty. It's Ty. <laughs> and he'll, he'll, um, he'll go over to this guy and he'll uh, attack him. Okay, then. Yeah. And, you know, since his back is turned to him, he'll just, he'll hit like a pressure point at his back, yeah. right? Try to go as that, hard as he can. That will hit. There you go. Um, yeah. And because it hits so well, he'll uh, he'll try that again. I'm just moving him out so I can put the um, damage on. That hits. Never minus seven. And uh, I'll leave it at that. Um, yeah, well, there's not much else you need to do because he is um, out for the count. All right, little elf boy strikes again. Uh, he's He is nicely dead. Um, Perry, you are up on the roof. What would you like to do? So perched on the top of the um, gable of the, the roof, Pericles is going to reach into a um, one of his belt pouches on his um, on his waist and take out a, a pinch of sand, and he's just going to sort of like throw it towards the people on the pier whilst muttering various arcane words. And I'm going to cast sleep. Yeah. And what's the uh, range on it? It's a, it's ninety foot range, and then it's a twenty foot. So I want to drop it. 20 foot um, diet. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll put the spell and then you can see it. Um, there we go. Just one moment. Um, I'm just going to bring up. Um, don't worry, it will get bigger. Um, <laughs> so. Um, da, 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 uh, a 20 foot um, sphere okay up, 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 up. Um, so I'm, I'm uh, assuming a 20 foot sphere is going to have a diameter of 20 foot is yeah. where whereabouts do you want it to hit I just I, I probably just is that how big it is no uh, no, I, I'm just going to drop it's gonna it in. Be four squares, isn't it? Yeah. Drop it in in the middle of them, ideally. Okay. Just. Yeah. So cool. So it's going to. So it's so about there. You know, drop it there, and then just see. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll drop it on those. I'll, I'll drop it on those first two. So that won't hit this guy, but it'll hit all the last ones. No, if you drop yeah. it there. Yeah, I'll should... drop it. I'll drop it on the oh, first two. Ten. You want it here then. Yeah, and just see what I what see what I can. Hit. Okay then. Um. So, roll five d eight. The total is how what, many? What, what level are you casting it at? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I just do it at um, first level. Okay then. So you need to roll um five d eight, and then that's the number of hit points I think it puts to sleep. Yeah. yeah. Um. So um twenty three. Uh, each creature effect falls unconscious until the end. Um, say, okay, then. So, yeah, go for it, Medivac. So basically, it's if you've got a mob with 20 hit points, that would fall asleep and leave you three hit points left. Yeah. Take off into something else, but that wouldn't fall asleep. So, what would happen if all my characters have more than 23 hit points? Nothing. 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 Okay, then. So nothing um, happens. Um, it's a brilliant spell at higher levels when you've got, like, 
We can do like 60, 70 points. Yeah, because at second level, you roll another 2d8. Mm. So that, that would up it. Yeah. Okay, then. So Perry is out. Saul, you're, um, you're still battling away. I, I'm raging. Yeah. So what I'm going to do in my rage, I'm going to hit this one in front of me. Yeah. Um, if I can get back to the screen I was at. Sorry, everybody. There we go. Normal roll. That's a 20. That, a dirty 20. Dirty. Dirty. And damage-wise, oh, 11. Okay. He's still up. Okay. Um, well, my plan was to hit it, kill it, and move forward. So I'm going to assume that I've killed it. Although I haven't, because I'm stupid. So I'm going to go around the spear, and then I'm going to go just down the crossbow. I'm going to take the attack of opportunity first, though. Yeah. Um, so he will roll his uh, mace. And he actually, I think that's a fumble. Yeah, he gets a one. Um, I don't know what fumble's doing this game. He will. He might hit the flame of spear and burn his hand. Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you try to, you dash away, and he sort of, like, takes a wild yeah. um, swing at you and misses as you move away, uh, which um, brings you up to, to this. Yeah. yeah. And then my next attack is going to be on him in front of me. Yeah. And I'm Wise to... move, since he had his crossbow out. And... That. Aimed at the little elf and uh, Jennifer. You know I've got myself a fumble, have I? Nothing's co nothing's what? come up for me yet. What oh, it's like it's ten. Um, that's a that's a fumble. I rolled a one. So yeah, I'd like to use my point of inspiration, please, because I've run up to this thing. I've seen his crossbow, up, and I'm about to take a swing, and I've noticed it's pointing right in my chest. So I've had to step to my left a little bit. Nice, take a swing. That, like that so it doesn't shoot me so i'm gonna i'm gonna take a swing again and whack it well, normally please don't please be a 10 again oh, oh. drat <laughs> <laughs> yeah and um damage damage oh i thought it'd be more 13 um 13 so i've used my point of inspiration for tonight yeah um yeah now can I remind everybody there's 22 minutes before we start? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, are you um, over and done? I'm done. Um, um, brilliant. Um, what's happened to my thugs on the board? Oh, I know why. It's because I... Less and less. Uh, no, it's because I took one off. The one that I used uh, for uh, initiative. What was that? Was it four? Four, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so, sorry, uh, Sol, are you done? Yeah. You're muted. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so the one in front of you drops his um, bolt, his um, heavy crossbow, and draws his mace. That would be his um, action. Um, I'm going to say that the one that fumbled his um, attack actually stays within the sphere. Um, so, uh, Mistress Jennifer, you can, need to... Can I just say, you should be able to, um, if you want to do this, if you're dropping it, you should be able to draw and hit me. Really? Yeah, that's what we can do. Right, okay. If, you, if, you're, dropping, if you're dropping a weapon, you can take out an next one and hit with it. Right. That's how we... we okay, yeah. well, let's... I'll just... I'll check it up so I'm happy about it. But I'm happy how it's working there at the moment. Um, but thank you. Um, Jennifer, um, Mistress Jennifer is going to stay in the fire. So you get to roll. Uh, dexterity, 14. Yeah, nice. No, I don't. I fail. Which means you're going to take um, nine burning damage. And he had... I I really am sorry to say this, Sol. He had one hit one. point left. <laughs> <laughs> he literally had one hit point. Uh, oh, no, I've just killed the sphere. Uh, <laughs> it's not about the kills. It's about the winning and keeping him really alive. Yeah, so um, 
he is now um, deaded. Um, um, yeah, so these um, thugs are all um, waiting um, for uh, attack. They look drowsy for a moment, but seem to have um, shrugged it off. And they seem to be... Um, they seem to be... Sol, your immediate reaction is that they're not charging you. Mm -hmm. But it seems that they are taking orders of the redhead guy um, oh. behind who is sort of like instructing them to almost like protect him. And you They're can like, see, Please. yeah, and some of them are sort of like thinking, I should have had my crossbow ball out here or something like that. And they're, they're not too sure, but they're, they're not um, doing um, anything. They seem to be looking around nervously uh, and that's it. And on two, um, this guy is calling out um, orders. Um, so we back up to the um, top of the round. Elena is still going, little elf, little elf, little like that, and leading the thing. And she sort of like looks round to you, um, Jennifer, because she obviously senses you um, um, behind her. And she sort of goes, is something on fire around here? I can definitely smell something burning. And Jennifer, it's your turn. I would like to end my concentration on the flaming sphere and ignore the comments because I'm trying to remember one of my comrades told me the best way to end the, the combat or, or the war is to destroy the leadership. Oh! I would like to cast... You said that the leader guy had a sword, right? Uh, yeah, a two-handed sword. Metal, correct? Yeah, I know what's oh, coming. Oh, you're not going to do what I <laughs> He's going to... <laughs> I'd like to cast heat metal at um, oh. third level because I'm out of second level slots. Nice, you and also because it's more hand. It, uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, go for it. Let's see, so it looks like this is another situation where, or wait, no. Um, um, let's have uh, a look. So I want to target the sword, obviously. You cause the object to glow red hot. Any creature in physical contact with the object takes 2d8 fire damage when you cast the spell until the spell ends. You can use a bonus action on each of your subsequent turns to cause this damage again. If the creature is holding or wearing an object and takes damage from it, they must succeed in a constitution saving throw or drop it. It's great when people wearing plate armor. Um, just because, and did you say, are you doing it at third level? Yeah, so it should do 3d8 damage, but it just seems like it automatically does the damage then. Um, yeah, there, there's nothing on here that is saying uh, a saving throw. Um, or anything like that. And that makes sense if you think about it. You know, in range, though. It has a 60 foot range. Uh, yeah, 60 foot range. Right. Um, and if I need to, I, I probably do move, move probably. Um, you can, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right because you're 70 foot away. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I'm you getting can, even more into range, I guess. You I can, want to be at least. Yeah, you can move and then cast the spell. That's not yeah. a problem at all. So um, do um, 3d6, th is it 3d8, um, yes. 11 um, points of fire damage. And then I guess you get to do a constitution saving throw? Um, well, yeah. So now the, the next thing is um, whether if I keep hold of it, um, if I keep hold of it, I need to make the saving throw. But, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, so, but he doesn't keep hold of it. Um, once it gets hot, he takes um, the damage and drops it. And draws his other one. Well, he, he actually had he actually has a, a long sword and a short sword that he wear he wields two two at the same time. I want a short sword of ice. Uh, yeah, um, and the other one's a plus one flaming tongue. And then, the, the, yeah. Um, yeah, Jennifer, thank you for that. I really do appreciate that. And um, Ty, little elf boy, what are you going to do? Um, I'm gonna wait. Actually, how far is this? Uh, 
Um, so there's, you should be able to, yeah, that's Okay, it. I can I can get right up to him. Yep. So I'm just going to have one last look back at the crowd and just be like... As I cheer with you. <laughs> it's Thai. It's, but they, they probably won't hear me over no. streaming. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, make him yeah. die. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Somebody says, little elf, die. Little elf, die. And then somebody yeah. sort of says, no, no, that, that can't be right. <laughs> so I'll, I'll just start running towards him. Yeah. And I'll, uh, I'll go for my attacks. And leapfrog, uh, oh, no, or slide underneath Sol's legs. As you come back, yeah, go for your tax. Well, I'm not sure if I fit under the, you know. under the axe. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. And do some yeah. damage. Do you know, everybody always has to, that misses. Mm -hmm. I think it's 11, isn't it? That it is, yeah. yeah. That hits. That hits. Okay. Yeah. Um, is that all of it? Five? <laughs> and then I will use another key point to do uh, a flurry of blows. So, okay, so two, two, more, more, attacks. Uh, two yeah. more attacks. Um, here we go. Oh, that, that's that, beautiful. That, that hits. Whoa. All right. That's a crit. Um, so that's 13 points of damage. Is he still alive? He certainly is. Okay, I'm going to use my way of the open hand to push him all the way back to the water. Did you? Do you have two flurry attacks? You do. Uh, I have two, but I think the way of the open hand works just whenever I hit with. Yes, it does. Them, so, yeah, yeah. But I can do another one. Yeah. Well, that that one would have um, that that's hit uh, as well. And do you want to use your open hand? Yeah, I want to use my open hand technique to Slap try him. to get him back with a. It's a DC fourteen uh, strength save. Strength game. Just pull them up. Strength. Um, no, and Oof. you actually. Um, how much was that last damage? That one. Um, you actually um, knock him um, off uh, and kill him at the same time. Uh, oh, it kills him? Okay. Yeah. Um, so you sort of like your final bit, you probably pivot and almost like side kick him with tremendous force. And he's sort of like, he does that thing when he bends in the middle as, as they fly off. Since we've been uh, working together for a while, can can me and Medivac do like a, a team thing where I push him back and then he swings his axe into him to like get him into the water? I don't think, no offense, but I don't think Saul has that amount of intelligence. <laughs> He's not very good when people say, let's work together. Saul, like, Saul, remember the thing we practiced. I, I pushed them, then you pushed them. <laughs> yeah. we, 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 we decide or the, or the blame. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's fine. He's already in the water. It's fine. We'll it's get it fine. Next. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. Go, I'll, I'll go bring him back for you. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, we don't need him. And yeah, and move, moving on. Sorry, let me just cross this um, guy um, here and move across to Perry. Off you go. Okay, so still on the rooftop, he's going to run, sling his crossbow again, and he's going to fire down onto the pier. Is Is this person aware of him up there? Or not? Um, probably not. He's more um, attuned to what's going on um, okay. before him. Plus, he's probably looking at the pesky druid who's just heated his um, sword up and made him drop it. Cool. Because so, I, I, I'm assuming that Jennifer must be doing some kind of conjuring. Yes, her, her casting is very visual. Yeah, and there, there's a bit of smoke coming up from her in various parts. Um, yeah. So, yeah, did you want to crossbow bolt? Yeah, um, crossbow bolt. Yeah, go for it. I'll look up ranges and things like that. Um, his armor class is 17. So I did it with advantage because I'm. he doesn't know that I'm there. So it's like a sneak attack. So I've got a natural 20. Um, okay, yeah. Um, so total damage is oh, how do I work that out then? Oh, um, 26. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, it's sort of like, um, 
goes into um, his shoulder a bit like the other one. It sort of like moves a bit and he sort of like scans around to, to see um, where, where it, it's um, coming from. And then he just promptly uh, pulls it out and throws it most angrily to the floor. He goes, like, like so. Um, he's still up. Um, Sol, you're up. Uh, I'm up and I'm going to go running into these two here. Oh, that's your shift because I can then put between the lines. No, yeah. This is alt. Alt, I think it is. There, there, there it, it is. is. There we go. Um, and I'm still raging, so I'm going to hit the, the, the one. More, <laughs> Whenever you uh, say that, I always just think it sounds as if you're really mad. I'm yeah, still. Is, what it is. It I'm really still is raging at Ty for right. knocking. <laughs> oh, it's like exclamation time. Um, so I'm going to do um, an attack on the one to the north first. You see a pattern going here. I'll always hit. If there's that, two, I'll hit one and one and one of the other. Yeah, that should um, be a hit. It certainly is a hit. And then your damage will be. 72. <laughs> um, and then the one... Was that the, 12? 12, yeah. yeah. And then the one to the south. Oh, 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 is that critical? Or is that a... Sorry, I'm still waiting for it oh, to... Yeah, we're waiting. <laughs> All right, it, it just yes, it weird. is. Um, awesome. It, it is a... It was a natural 20 plus 9. Uh, so, um, why... Um, why is my damage so critical on there? Let's just do normal roll and see what happens. But let's cancel it. That one. That one. That is just a oh, weird. Right. That's not done crit damage, is it? That's just done 13. Um, it's just done 7 add 6. Yeah, that's just normal. So why isn't it? doing critical on here and why don't I have the option for critical if I go into your settings again go to more options and do auto roll damage and crit and then have it set for that and then if you if you're not if it's not a crit just give the first the first thing it'll only take it if it's a crit what what's it when you do a crit what what do we roll <laughs> It's, it's, it's if you get a natural 20 with the dice, yeah, which I've got, yeah, and then it's a plus nine, so I've got a 20 plus nine is 29. yeah. So, what would normally happen with uh, the damage for a crit? Um, I would do a lot more damage. Do uh, do you do like, but what's the formula? Well, do you do right, you, you got a crit earlier, didn't you? <coughs> so, you, you got your um, da, 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 da. refresh my memory brain, right? Tight and I'm strike. Where are we? So you get your choice is crit. So you get a sneak damage. You got 15 damage. Total crit damage is 11. So where's that 11 come from? When you score a critical hit, you get to roll extra dice for the attacks. Um, so you roll, um, roll all the attack damage twice and add them together. All oh, right, okay. So I'll just roll mine again then. So on mine, I got two piercings and two... So that's um, 13 and 8, yeah? 21 in total, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, let's have a look. Guess what? Not enough. It's not enough. It's still alive. Uh, at me. <laughs> no, because so, I, did, I did 23 sleep and he, he didn't fall unconscious, so no, he's still up. Still up. Um, so I, I took it off the, the wrong one. Ah, it's yeah, it's on to the south. I hit there. Yeah, and that's minus twenty one. Yeah, no, he's still up. Um, so they both look damaged, but they're both um still up. Do you have any attacks or anything left? Oh, do you know what he's so tempted to frenzy, but I'm no, I'm not no, no. Okay. No, I'm done. Um, so um, here comes both of them. Um. They're not, they tie, they don't seem to be moving um, towards you at all. Um, these two um, move further back um, to guard um, 
guy at the back. And both of these are going to try to hit you with their maces. Um, top one first. What? 11. No. And a 21. That 21 hits. Um, but it'll be th um, what? Two bludgeoning. It's yeah. two, yeah. yeah. And the, the red-haired um, -haired guy um, draws his long sword and short sword. Uh, on his action and yeah um we're back up to you jennifer on 16. okay no encouragement from my comrade that's fine i'd like to move up my <laughs> <laughs> i thought i thought she was going to say something to encourage me but that, that's fine i want to go up to here um as far as i can go with my movement yeah and then i would like to use my circle of wildfire to summon a wildfire spirit nice I can summon it to a unoccupied space of my choice that I can see within uh, six squares, I guess, 30 feet. And each creature within 10 feet or two squares will have to make a saving throw or take some fire damage. Um, okay. So okay. I was hoping to put it right here. Right there. Here it comes. Let's just make it uh, big as that. So that's where it appears. Um, yes, yeah, so um, it's. I presume it's going to attack all those three. Yeah. Um, yeah, they they need to all make a dexterity saving throw of fourteen. Fourteen. So these are the two thugs. Um, first, um, that's a fail. That's a fail. And then this is the guy. Um, he got an eight, so I, I forgot to change it. So he failed um, as well. Um, so they all take 2d6 fire damage. Okay. Um, let's see. Do I have a place to roll that here? I don't think I can roll it from here. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can. I think. 2d6. Come on. Do you want me to roll for each of them? No. Individually? Oh, it's up to you. I'm completely up to you. Um, I, I'm happy with sevens across the board for simplicity. Yeah. Okay. Then. Um. So let's. So this is like a, a humanoid bit, isn't it? Yeah. Um. So I. Is, I can. Uh, humanoid you, figure with made of gnarled branches covered in flame. Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, um, so that's sixteen. Um, Ty, you're up. All right, so I'm, I'm guessing the south one looks very damaged. It certainly does. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll I'll run up to him and uh, hit him once, or try to hit him once, and see what that does. Okay. Oh, oh that's not. That's oh, not good. oh, 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 yeah. Uh, you could use your point of inspiration if you wish. And I definitely will. Yeah, go for it. That's much better. Yeah, that that will hit. Um, so do some damage. Nine. Yep. Is he still standing? He certainly is. All right, then we'll go again. And um, fourteen hits. And we'll do another nine. And that is him. Um, deaded. All right. That's uh, he's. Ty is going to listen if the crowd has started changing their chant or if it's still... Yeah, get to the guy, Ty. No, yeah, they're, oh, they're, Ty, they're, sort, the like, they're sort of like, yeah, well, go, little elf. All right, still little elf. Well, <laughs> one day. Uh, right, um, uh, all done? Yep. Yeah, okay then. Um, Perry, you're up. Just still perch on the rooftop. Um, actually, can I ask one more? Uh, yeah. The hood that or the cloak that I got is it like an action to put it on or that was your choice wasn't it just sort of do it yeah so you, you have i always because think right, you... right now i don't have it on yeah okay then so once or it's... i don't have the hood up so yeah i want to put it up is that like my action for that round or well i i think i think it would actually be a free action but i'll check it um later on i've got a list right. of things to check but i will do that but if you want to use a bonus action to put it on then you're fine all right cool um, yeah, Perry. Um, he's good to reload his hand crossbow and fire at this one here. Um, just as Perry's firing, it's um, 10 o'clock. 
Is everybody all right just to finish off this combat, or do you want to stop it here for next time? No, I'm fine. I'm fine to continue. I can keep going, yeah. Okay, then. Brilliant. Do 24 hours if you want. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Uh, an 11, which will um, be a which, hit. Which one are you firing this at? Um, yeah, uh, 11 is a hit. Um, is that... So 10 points of damage, 5 piercing and 5 on the, the sneak. Uh, 10, yep. Yeah. Okay, then. Um, anything else? Um, I want to use my um, movement to start moving. Is this just like a, a, a little lower bit which what are you this, this bit here yeah it's just sort of like halfway between the okay can i um yeah that's absolutely can I, fine can I move like down there okay um sol but but you've got to go we yeah <laughs> <laughs> um sol you up he muted oh me sorry no no it's <laughs> my name sorry uh, right. Okay. So the one above me, the one to the north, is still alive. Yeah. I'm going to do what I did before because I know I need to get to that that big guy in front. So I'm going to take a swipe at this guy to the north. Nice. With my great axe, I swing it like I mean it. Yeah. Um, Twenty-three. And that's twelve. It came up with its slashing damage. Oh yes, because I've now got the damage. Selected. Yeah. Um, if you want to do crits um, in beyond, right click on the damage box and you can select crit roll. Brilliant. Um, that actually kills this one. Uh, in That's front. good because I was going to run through anyway. So uh, I'm then going to run. So between yeah. those two again, and I'm going to hit the one to the north. Now, you can have um, advantage on I your I was going to say, yeah. do I get advantage on this? Because it, do I class hit that as a, 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 a friendly? So that's good. Yeah. Um, plus, they're probably round in the process of turning around to, to see what's there. Can you see with, sure. with the fact? So, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Right, let me just so change. So you can have advantage on now. If you put um if you put um always ask for things, it allow it sort of like asks you how many rolls you want to make, etc. Yeah, no, that's that's great. The rolls, it just didn't do it with the um the oh, crit. what's happened there. I oh if I if I just No, there you go. So um twenty-two. So um twenty-two that's is a, your That's a normal, yeah. Yeah. Um uh, because that's twenty twos, yeah. Um, did I lose Sal? I was making it and came back, and it's really quiet. Um, don't think so. Hello. 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 Is that thirteen points of damage to the that's north? Thir thirteen damage to the north one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Papa, can you hear me? It's still up. That's good. Um. Uh thuggy times um so um these that thug that you've whacked i think it's quite possible to say that it will turn around because he knows oh, yeah. knows that you are um there um so let me just um roll to see whether or not he hits you uh, misses with um a six um the the other thug will hit your um, fire elemental or fire spirit. Um, gets a 32, which I think will hit. Yes, my fire spirit is a 13. Okay, and I do seven points of bludgeoning to you. All uh, right. Um, and then um, it, it, this, um, this other guy, this boss, um, hits him so he has two long sword attacks and if he has his short sword drawn it can also make a short sword attack um so here can i uh, handle his long sword or did he pick that back up no he had a two-handed sword that you oh, heated metal yeah. which he dropped and then he drew his short sword and his long sword gotcha um yeah. so here's um 14 i think hits yes it does and so that's six points of slashing damage. Um, his second one is a 23, so that will 
hit and that's another seven points of damage and here's uh, oh, a crit. <laughs> uh here's um sword short sword crits and see what what it's right. doing it for me and i yeah. thought you did maximum damage with your um well let, 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 let me click on this and do oh get off right, so right click on that roll as a crit roll so that is a crit attack for me so that should be 24 so i've got 29 there which is 2d12 plus six so that's the two that's the two damage so that's right. the two rolls then add six but my oh mine did just yeah, my, yeah no my, mine rolls 2d12 plus six so uh, yeah i got uh, 11 and 12 so one yeah. be being max so mind is saying that a critical is just the maximum you can get from that hit dice plus yeah, your bonus plus, your, plus bonus right yeah so that's um that is um 10 points of damage to your little earthy spirit um yeah all that adds up to it uh crumbles into brambles that are just embers no oh, no it only has 30 health points guys. <laughs> okay and so yeah we're back up to the top um with you jenny well um if you're going to destroy my little fire spirit i'm gonna make you dance i would Break like my to cast, um i'm gonna cast create bonfire <laughs> this this rude individual with the long sword and short sword okay um, so you get a DC for or a Dex uh, difficulty fourteen. Uh, dex save for fourteen. Here it comes. Dance. Um, I miss. Uh -huh. I'm taking uh, full. Five. Just five. Yeah, I got a two and a three. <sighs> so close, and yet a lot so of shame over here. But... Um, yeah, and Ty, you're up. All right, I will walk to the southern guy. I will use my bonus action to put my hood up so yep. I'm a little bit more protected. And then I'll I'll do my uh, two attacks. Nice, go for it. Um, that hits for seven. And second one attacks for um, ten. And then the wind blows your hood off. Um, yeah, he's still he's still up. If you want to flurry, uh, I can't because I use my bonus action to put my hood up. Oh yeah. Um, anything else coming my way? Um, I don't think so. Or okay, not from me. Um, um, Perry, we are over to you. Is there still a whole lot of mayhem going on behind us with these big vines and stuff like that? Oh yes, that All that's right. still going on, but the majority okay. of the people are down by the docks now. Okay, so he's going to um, he's going to shout out at the top of his voice towards the crowd, "Get to the boats!" And then he's going to fire his crossbow bolt at this this crossbow at this guy. Okay. The, the the pause in that roll is uh, unbelievable. Um, yeah. Okay then. And Sol, you're up. Oh, well, Sol's gonna swing to the north and swing to the south. That's what I thought would be coming my way. North first is a hit. Yeah. Do some lovely damage for me. Come on, oh, come on. Minimum damage, seven. It hasn't even come up for me oh, yet. Oh, stupid roll. I've got, I've got to, ah. Oh. Seven, yeah. He's, seven, stu yeah. he's still up. Uh, One right to the south. south. It's going to be, roll it. Oh, no. Oh, it's 11, isn't it? Uh, 11. No, 11. No, 11. It's, All right, okay. It's the, um, the guy behind that has 17. Ah. Oh. Oh, we can have seven as well, then, please. And uh, for the bottom one as well. 
And uh, with that, I'm going to just, with frustration of not knocking these, <laughs> out, I'm just going to go in their faces. <laughs> Yeah, that, 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 that's it. I mean, I'm not angry at anybody else. These two will not lay down. Uh, and that's it. So the northern one will attack you, Sol. The southern one um, at, will attack you, um, Ty. And the nasty guy will attack you um, as well. Would uh, he like to move or is he going to end his turn there? Um, the nasty guy. The, the nasty guy is going to move here. Good choice out of your bonfire um so this is the um thug um start to off with um it it will hit you um well what's it's your speed. arm class it's no speed, it's oh. um yeah sorry this one is to you this yeah, is the northern that, one that will hit yeah um so it'll do um nine points of bludgeoning so that'd be four it's four um, this one is the one coming to you, Ty. Um, that a miss. And then the the nasty one is coming to you as well, Ty. So this is, um, what's your arm class? 17, so I think that's a miss because I have the cloak on. So. Um, yeah, because I'll roll at disadvantage, so it'll be um, 13, so that will yeah. um, miss. Um this one will roll at disadvantage, so it's um, 12, which will miss. And then this one would be, a, uh, that will be a, a 10, so... I'm just dancing around you're the li- swords. You're like a little boy ninja. Yes. <laughs> Go little Ty. Go little Ty. Little um, yeah, and we're um, back up to the top of the round um, with Jennifer. Um, can I see from this angle how badly injured um, my gigantic friend is? Uh, he he doesn't. Uh, he he's not. He doesn't seem oh. to be stopping. He never stop. <laughs> you know. So he you you know. I mean, you know before that he will just battle on for. Bon job, Ben. Uh, bon <laughs> yeah. You you I'm a little worried. But. Yeah. I mean, you can try to heal him if you wish. No, I think I'm going to use my final uh, third level spell what slot. No, <laughs> you're fine. I visually told myself you look fine based on yeah. how many points you're bleeding at. Yeah, um, looks so very fine. I, I uh, you, so you'll, be, you'll be fine. I want to cast heat metal on the long sword. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No weapons for you guys. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. At this point, you just take the three d eight fire damage. Um, yeah, that that is right. Um, please get a nice twenty two. Not quite ten. It's good, so I good. Got a fire adept because I actually rolled an eight, but it boosted up those two ones. Oh, nice! And just to let you know, I had nine points of damage. Nine hit points left. Oh, turn your hands off. Uh, so he is um, out of Gio. it. Um, he is gone. Um, Ty, you're up next. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, the joy. guy you next to me. <laughs> guy next to me has fallen now. down. The, the crowd is calling me little elf. I'm just, I'm, just I'm feeling it. Shop. So I'm gonna come on. You can you can hit him. That's hit. Yep. And that's uh, killed him. He had one hit point left. So all right, then I'll move up. Move, move up. up to the other, or I'll I'll uh, yeah. Sort of like put my put my hands on his shoulders while he's falling down. Do a do a flip over him. Yeah, nice. And uh, try to hit the other one as I come down. Yeah, um, that that Beautiful. hits. That hits. All right. And he had five hit points um, left. There we go. Uh, so he's um, uh, down. So I'm just going to... That's uh, amazing. You are. Do you know... Um, he's really described it really well as well. That's great. <laughs> do you know, I think um, Captain want, might have to reconsider being a paladin because I just <laughs> I wouldn't... <laughs> If he's got a slow, and, and to uh, say you've got no 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 chi points, chi points, whatever points left, yeah, that's really good. Yeah, okay. Uh, then. I've got I've got one left over. 
I was gonna use it on the captain to do my actual strongest move because I still haven't used it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <Save> it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. So I'm I'm just going to move this bit along now. Um. So um. And then we can take um the break. We can leave it for this week because this is nicely at an ending. So at this point, uh, Elena comes down and she encourages you all to get um, on the Moon Dancer. And once you're um, on board, uh, Perry, uh, Perry, um, Perry, the um, more of the town have gone for the other boats as you yeah, ordered. We won't get on to the other boat until everybody else, all the all the citizens, have got onto the uh, up onto the other one, so that. Okay. That's um, a long way. Yeah. It's a whole town. Are you, are you, the, 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 any, any of the citizens that he can see on the dock, he, he'll make sure that they're safe. Okay. Um, and then you, you get on to the um, moon dance, uh, moon dancer, and I'll just... Um, Read this and then we'll leave it there. Okay, so the crystalline vines coil upward, um, scraping the sky. From the harbour, you can see similar vines um, miles from the settlement, having burst out of the world and reaching skyward. As the moon dancer clears the harbour, Captain Startel stamps her foot hard on the deck. Flapjack, she yells, take her up. Suddenly, the galleon lists and creaks as it rises out of the water and into the air. The world falls away beneath you as the moon dancer flies through the clouds and on into the starry abyss of the night. And that, that is the end of um, chapter one. And you don't get any, um, I don't think you get any bonus um, attacks, I'm sorry, levels for that, but I will, I will check. Um, I, I, a bonus attack, I'll take that, please. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant. Okay, then well done, folks. That was a really um, good, strong adventure. Lots of people doing lots of things, which was um, absolutely um, brilliant. Um, oh, Darth, we just, we've just we just finished, Darth. We have just finished, but thank you for popping in. Okay, so we had um, a wonderful time tonight. Well, I hope we all had a wonderful time, and thank you to everybody who came along and supported us. If you want to know what will happen to the party as they continue skywards into the night, then please do make sure that you come back next week to see what is happening. I will be um, streaming tomorrow morning, nine o'clock, with some Minecraft, and tomorrow afternoon at one o'clock with some Elder Scrolls Online. Um, Medivac, do you want to say your games? Yes, uh, seven fifteen Monday will be Call of Cthulhuing again, and episode fifty-five of the Wilderlands campaign of D and D will be on Thursday at quarter past seven as well. Thank you. Brilliant on Medivac, the the healing uh, Hoover. You must be the longest word, the longest okay. title. I've just done. It. <laughs> um, does anybody else want to give any other announcements while we're here? I've got nothing. I'll be here again next week. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! And you can look out for Matt on the Minecraft server tomorrow. He's likely just to be. Yeah, I'll be somewhere in the background doing yeah, um, looking, the looking up to the sky. Chaos. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, we'll all be around next week. Captain will probably be with us as well, so that'll be fun. So until that time, it's goodbye from me. Goodbye, and it's goodbye from them. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you never get away from this one. Yeah, I, you know, I do worry. I do. <laughs>